Now the show, the episode that you're submitting for voters um, is episode six from this past season. Pretty, pretty great Gus episode because he, um, he tells a great story to Hector in that episode, doesn't he? He sure does. <laughs> he, I mean, the whole thing with Gus and Hector and Gus trying to rehabilitate Hector, but not too much, <laughs> is just so chilling. It really is. Keep him right there. You know, the yeah. doctor says, we, we, we can go a little further. No, nope. nope, that's enough. Uh, I find that uh, this particular episode, Pinata, um, given the fact that I have a certain amount of screen time in, in this season four, was powerful. Uh, and, and I thought, how do I tell this story and, and make it revelatory? How do we really speak about ourselves um, in a certain way that allows people to know where we came from and where we'd like to go and what's inside of us? And this particular story does that. So strange. I was in Austin, Texas, where I lived at the time, and it was two days before I was to shoot this. And uh, the coati, this you know raccoon-like animal that can be very, very brutal. Uh, and I was in my backyard and had a fence that was an owl that went all the way around the yard and I saw this animal that was a coati and I was like, this is inspirational. And the way it moved on the fence and the way it scurried faster and then turned around very gust like and hissed at me before it continued on its journey which allowed me to know don't get any closer because this animal will bite you. And so when I get inspiration like that, by the time I got to the set and was speaking to Hector, to firstly allow him to be completely alive, allow my comrade, as if I'm speaking to you right now, as if he's looking at me, but he's not, because he's in a, a coma of sorts. Uh, and to have that live on both ends was mm -hmm. uh, an amazing challenge, truly. Are you saying that, because the Kawati is, you know, Gus is telling the story, but you just happened to see one a couple of days before? In my life. Before I flew from Austin to Albuquerque to shoot that episode, That's I saw kind one. Kind of an interesting coincidence. It really it? was because I I it's had your spirit animal. They're really it, it, absolutely <laughs> my spirit animal. I should be praying to him right now. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. I, I I my mouth dropped open because to have an experience and a vision, and then to have it turn and hiss at me allowed me to know that his story was true. Mm. Um, that he struggled. Mm. Uh, with this animal, but this animal was threatening his livelihood, the fruit from the tree with which he fed his family, and was able to get through that moment in time where he didn't know where dinner was coming from, then it truly allows you to see that animal was a threat, and that threat needs to be neutralized.